Hi, and welcome to the March edition of Full Tweet. I'm Sophia. And I'm Leslie. And we have a ton of great stories for you today. We'll examine two different internet oddities that have caused some amusing and interesting conversations. We also have some very important news for you that you really want to hear. Plus, a look back at spring break with our edition of Sophia's Choice. You've all heard about eBay, the online auction site where people can post items for sale and the highest bidder gets to walk away with the price. But what you may not know are some of the strange items that have been offered for sale. Our full tweet correspondents from Miller High School investigated the site and shared some of the strangest things that were offered for sale. One of Albert Einstein's handwritten letters. In 1954, the great physicist penned a candy-worded letter to Jewish philosopher Eric Gunking, in which he defends his views on ethics, religion, and human nature. Starting bid was $3 million and was sold for $3 million and $100 autograph their guitar. This is an item that has come up a number of times in recent years, but, but not too many offer an autograph air guitar. The question of who autographed this unused, unopened, undamaged item is likely to be answered after you win the auction. Starting bid of $15. Xbox 360 signed by Sarah Palin. We're not really sure why someone would want to get their Xbox 360 signed by Sarah Palin, but oddly enough, somebody did just that and also went ahead and sold it off on eBay at a whooping price of $1.1 million. Christopher Columbus' fake teeth. Where do we start with the problems here? Not only has Columbus been dead for over 500 years, but the company photo has the seller wearing said fake teeth, which a child happened to find it on an ocean's edge. Before a disclaimer tells you, no refunds on used items, especially false teeth. Ghost in a box. Believing in the supernatural is a cultural norm across the world, and to make things slightly more realistic, there are chaps who sell objects that will bring closer to the ones living the afterlife. But this one chap has captured a real life ghost in a box and is selling it at a measly price of $30.37. One US dollar bill. The Yangs really have thought of everything, haven't they? Putting to the test the true value of a dollar. This auction offers a one US dollar bill at a starting price of 99 cents. Quick, get in now and save a cent. The only downside is that the bill may vary from the provided picture. The Virgin Mary Grilled Cheese Sandwich. We all know about this one. A family from the US discovered that a grilled cheese sandwich of theirs looks especially like the Virgin Mary. While we could go on about everything that is wrong with that chain of events, we will just leave you with this. Partially bitten slice sold for $28,000. The Wedding Dress Guy American citizen Larry Starr was so disillusioned by his marriage breakup that he not only sold his ex-wife's wedding dress on eBay, but he modeled the dress as well. Spreading his size 12 frame around the world, the dress sold for $3,850. Now for the 144. News stories that you need to know in 144 words or less. Next year, high school students will start to see a change in their grading periods. The current nine-week periods will be replaced with six-week grading cycles at all high schools. This means that you will receive report cards six times a year instead of four. The change is put into place for several reasons. Teachers prefer to end the semester at the winter break rather than to have to carry it over to the new year. UIL participation is impacted as shorter grading cycles allow students who may have lost eligibility and an opportunity to regain it in a shorter time. Now parents will get report cards for all their students at the same time. We also found that most other similar districts are on a six-week grading cycle, so this will align our students with other schools as well. CCISD has crowned this year's top teachers with the announcement of the 2015 Elementary and Secondary Teachers of the Year. Over the past several months, a committee of community members and district personnel reviewed essays submitted by Teacher of the Year nominees from each of the district's campuses. The selection committee narrowed down the nominees to seven finalists. During the press conference, the finalists were introduced by Superintendent Dr. Roland Hernandez. Then Dr. Hernandez made the surprise announcement of the two Teacher of the Year winners. The 2015 Elementary Teacher of the Year is Annie Musharu Garza, a fourth grade teacher at Garcia Elementary. The Secondary Teacher of the Year is Morris McRae, History Teacher at Miller High School. Congratulations to these two outstanding teachers. The district will recognize the two honorees and all campus nominees during a banquet set for mid-April. If you've watched our show and thought, hey, I could do that, or wow, that looks like so much fun, here's your chance. 
We're now looking for new full tweet anchors for the 2015-2016 school year. To be eligible, you must be a sophomore or a junior at a CCISD high school. You'll be asked to submit two letters of recommendation detailing your work ethic and leadership skills. Applicants will also be required to submit a two to three minute audition video like these that will give you a chance to tell us why you are the best choice. The deadline to submit your application is May 1st. We want both guys and girls with fun, engaging personalities that are willing to represent their school and CCISD with the highest standards. Ask your school counselor for your application today. In today's Sophia's Choice, she has taken a look back at what made 2015 a spring break to remember. Hey everyone, welcome to Sophia's Choice. And yeah, I know spring break is over, but I feel pretty confident in saying that I think I'm not the only person who's sad about it ending. Personally, I think that we should have gotten at least 12 more years off from school, at least. But just because spring break is over doesn't mean that we have to stop thinking about it. Today, I want to share with you guys 10 of my favorite Instagram photos of people's spring breaks. I love looking at spring break photos, or any vacation photos really as if I can vicariously live through these people's pictures. So let's jump into them. Some lucky people spent their spring break eating glorious food. Take a look at this picture. This picture is ridiculously beautiful and it's of fruit. That's crazy. Some people really appreciated the sunsets during the week. Take a look at these gorgeous photos of the sky's colors. For others, spring break doesn't necessarily mean warmth and the beach. For people up in the north, snow and ice still cover their homes, as you can see in some of these photos. In this one, the trees are bare, making spring break feel more like winter. And finally, in classic spring break style, some people just spent the week appreciating the beach and its beautiful waves. Check out these stunning photos of the water. And these pictures don't make you miss spring break like crazy, I don't know what will. So those were 10 of my favorite spring break Instagram photos. I want to jump inside all of them and live in them, except for the food picture. I'd rather eat that. But yeah, that's it for me this time. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. Here's a question for you. What could start on Tumblr, generate over 11 million tweets, garner millions of views on YouTube, and start countless arguments across the globe? The dress. As journalists, even just as plain human beings, we're obsessed with the advantages of technology. We embrace it. We fully embrace the access to instant messaging, endless amounts of hashtags, and the excessive styles of filters. It's all about the trends. Being a teenager and admittedly active tweeter, I'm blown away with the trends other teens, including myself, participate in. One trend that took the internet world by storm about a month ago was the legendary dress color. Here's a short clip from The Ellen Show with a bit of backstory from the family who started the whole craze. It's clearly gold and white. Black and blue. It's totally white and gold. There's nothing white or gold about it. It's blue and black. Yeah. Blue and black. This dress is white and gold. It did start off as one woman's Tumblr post asking that simple question. Scottish singer Caitlin McNeil posted, guys, please help me. Is this dress white and gold or blue and black? And with that, the Twitter hashtag, the dress, was born. Your mother sends you a dress and for you to wear at your wedding, right? Yes, yeah, so she sent me three photos of three different dresses. And um, I said, so which one is it? Which one do you like the best? And she said, the third one. I said, oh, the white and gold one. Mm -hmm. And she said, um, no, the blue and black one. And I was like, no, mum, that's white and gold. And if you think it's blue and black, you need to go to the doctors. <laughs> right. So then how do you come into this, Caitlin? Then you posted it, right? Yeah, I posted it on Tumblr. And um, I mean, we had been arguing about this for weeks. Like, it had been tearing the community apart. <laughs> <laughs> we were losing our minds. And then I posted it on Tumblr. I had a couple of thousand followers. I felt like maybe I'd get some answers. You know, sometimes, sometimes Tumblr's good for that kind of sciencey stuff. But then, like, about, I don't know, half an hour, it was on Twitter. And then somebody just texted me and said, can you just search the dress on Twitter? And I was like, yeah, sure. And then hundreds and hundreds of pictures of this dress on, in a few tweets. I don't think we as teenagers fully understand how powerful the internet makes us. I mean, don't we all remember the infamous celeb selfie that broke Twitter? Trends come and go, but hopefully we don't do too much damage with the next one. So I'll leave you with this picture. Tell us what you see with the hashtag full tweet rabbit or hashtag full tweet duck. So that wraps up this edition of Full Tweet. We hope you enjoyed the show. Share it with your friends and let us know what you think. We'd love to hear your story ideas and all of your comments. So don't forget to mention us on all social media with the hashtag full tweet. 
And remember, if you want to be a student anchor for Full Tweet, make sure to ask your counselor for the application. We look forward to seeing your audition tapes. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next month with a fresh edition of Full Tweet. Bye! Bye.